what's up everybody welcome back to the imbo channel it is your girl barbie noir back with another video first of all i want to say happy birthday to onika oh onika tanya happy happy birthday to you happy birthday look <laughs> y'all like that okay it is her 40th birthday today and she is thriving she looks absolutely amazing beautiful gorgeous and she has had one of the best years if of her career leading up to her 40th birthday so i want to thank god for another year that he has blessed us with the talented onika tanya i hope that she has an amazing day and i hope that she has an amazing 40th year I hope her album goes great her rollout and everything like that president biden announced the release of britney griner the wmba star who was imprisoned in russia for smuggling drugs guys um remember she had the vape that she um you know said she didn't know was in her bag and she was arrested back in february guys it has almost been a year i could not imagine how she feels what she went through our prayers go out to her we hope that she can get through this stronger you know come out of this stronger that this was an experience obviously that changed her life but hopefully you know somehow for the better we are just so happy that she's going to be returned to her family to her child to her wife um hopefully to her career i hope this doesn't hinder her but only you know pushes her forward so what happened y'all how is she coming back right so basically it seems like they did a prison swap for her there was a convicted russian arms dealer his name was victor bout and you know he was arrested here in the u.s i believe and they basically did a trade off for him to get britney griner back the exchange was secured by saudi arabia and the uae which is the united arab emirates okay if that's a country in western asia now does that mean that the u.s didn't have anything to do with her coming back i don't believe so i'm pretty sure like biden was you know or the u.s somebody from the u.s was in talks with both of these different countries who helped negotiate for britney griner to come back the point is that she's coming back y'all and i'm so happy I'm, I'm just so happy that they did not let this go that behind the scenes they were working to get her back probably Probably this whole time because that is just crazy if they wasn't going to get her back that is just not a thing so i'm really really happy to see the u.s stand behind britney griner and get her back home okay so cardi b has come out with a video and she has a few things she wants to address and get off of her chest let's take a look oh that i gotta drop this album that i've been lacking i've been whatever this this and that I ain't even gonna front to y'all. I ain't even gonna front to y'all. I'm gonna I'm have to be real with myself and I'm gonna have to be real with y'all. I feel like I have gotten too comfortable. I feel like I have gotten too comfortable because I'm just a mom. <laughs> because I'm just like a mom. Like, um, and I do have anxiety. I've been having a lot of anxiety because I know right after I drop my album, I have to go on tour and I have like bad separation anxiety from my kids. Like, and you know, people just be making it like seem like it's easy. Like, oh, you could take your kids on tour with you and everything, but it wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fair for my daughter. The other day when I did a show that y'all was shit about that I got paid an M for, when I was performing, every single time I perform, I I, I I I don't know, like something wakes up in me and I remember why I do this because I love this. Like, I love to perform. Performing is my passion. And um, before, I'm not even going to front, like around 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, I used to love to make music. But now, making music to me has become like a... a uh, a job that gets me anxiety because everybody just critique everything that I do that it's just like you know sometimes you just don't want to do something that makes you feel that give you that much anxiety so I just be like uh, freezing myself but I have to let that go I have to release more music I have to release more music and I have to just go out there and plus I have so much goals there but 
I promise myself and I promise my label and I promise everyone around me and my fans that I wouldn't let anything come with everything that I work for. But it's just, it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard. Like, it. Te aseguro, mami. We need to be in Sophie for your show next time. Yes, and that's one of my goals. So yeah, so that's that's really been the truth. Like that's really been the all right. Nigga said become a singer. <laughs> um but oh yeah and another thing i will be talking maybe this week or maybe next the next time i do my i will be talking about my surgery because everybody's just like cardi you got done too big you got done too big you got too big but the t is right this is the tiana taylor right here Oh, by the way, sometimes when we talk about tea, me, me and my friends be like, ooh, let me tell you about the Tiana Taylor I got. <laughs> be courty, but whatever. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? The tea is, after I gave birth to my son, my huge. And the reason why, so what I did was, on this round, let me tell you something. Um... In August, I did surgery because a lot of people thought that I, well, as soon as I gave birth, I, I got my body done. No, I didn't. In August, I did surgery and I removed 95%, 95% 95 of my biopolymeters. If you know what biopolymeters is, it's shots. And it was a really crazy process. And um, all I'm going to say is, right? That if you're young, if you're 19, if you're 20, if you're 21, and sometimes you're too skinny, and you be like, oh my God, I don't got enough and everything, so you result, don't fucking do it. Okay, guys, so you just saw that. I'm going to break this down, guys. Climb, Cardi B spoke about her album, and... I, I believe that Cardi B, the way that she speaks in this video, she sees and hears what people have been saying about her projects that she has been releasing and the things that she has been doing. She spoke about anxiety, right? And how she feels anxious about releasing new music. She feels anxious about going on, you know, tour. Um, she didn't want to leave her children, which I completely understand that. I feel like a lot of people were saying that she was using that as an excuse, but being a mother... You know, I feel I feel her on that. I would not want to leave my children at all, ever. You know, especially not for long periods of time. And taking them on tour, especially so young, I probably wouldn't want to do that either. However, you know, when it comes to being in this type of field, these are the things that you have to do. Unfortunately, you know, if you work a nine to five, you got to leave your child for, you know, however long you have to be at work. It's the same thing when you are a performer, when you are an entertainer. You have to go on tour. That's part of the job. You have to release music. <laughs> Otherwise, you know what are you doing? So she can't, you know, it, it, it is unfortunate, but you can't really make those type of excuses. You have to get to the work. I do also feel like she could have anxiety for releasing the music because the way that people have not been really gravitating towards her music, the way that, that it seemed like they were at first. Um, You know, when she first came out, when she had her first album, it was such a huge success with the numbers and things like that. But it seems like she is not getting the same push from her label. So she is nervous because she more likely has to accumulate more authentic numbers and more authentic um, positivity for this album. And guys, what am I talking about, right? Why would I say she's not getting the same push? Not only because her numbers seem to be significantly lower when it comes to, you know, her charting and things like that with her music, but 
take a look at this, guys. Variety put out an article, right, that they did with Atlantic. First of all, this is the title of the article. It says, Atlantic Records Chiefs Julie Greenwald and Craig Coleman talk Lizzo, Jack Harlow, their big 2022, and what's next? Now, right there in that title, right, Cardi B is supposed to be like the biggest artist in Atlantic. When she came out, I mean, when she came out, the way that they pushed her was insane it was cardi b cardi b cardi b cardi b couldn't stop hearing about it couldn't stop thinking about it because it was all over the place right so it's interesting that your diamond artist who is you know the new queen of rap according to some is not in this title that is very interesting and then they go on to say virtually every year they broke in new artists helped others to into successful sophomore albums and launched new eras of their superstars look at the past year as a good example as any and look, this is the look of the past year, y'all. They broke Gale, assisted Jack Harlow and Lizzo through their second album challenge, and ushered in new chapters for franchise artists Ed Sheeran, Coldplay, and Bruno Mars via his Silk Sonic project with Anderson Pack. They also saw major success with Kodak Black, Lil Uzi Vert, In Grid and Dress, A Boogie with the Hoodie, Charlie Puth, Wiz Khalifa, and more. And a look at the company's website ranges from legacy artists like Aretha Franklin and Led Zeppelin to dozens of new acts. Interesting, guys. Cardi B is nowhere in that you saw that big paragraph where they talked about many people even artists who were already established artists they definitely could have brought up cardi b in all of the success that she has had being with atlantic so i found that very interesting is this the time that they're going to make her actually prove herself because they have allegedly put a lot of work and push and money into her career making her seem like she was the next big thing the next head of female rap and now they're just kind of leaving her in the dust i think that is a shame because you know when you start a career one way and you're comfortable in that and just to have that pretty much taken from under you because now they're going to try somebody else because this thing that they tried didn't work is really sad the way that you know these labels use these artists and then throw them to the dust they put them in these predicaments make them you know go up against you know really big well-known artists with really huge fan bases and then they're just left in the dust you know they've done their job and their job is over and they're moving on to the next person while you're listening to this video subscribe to the channel and hit that like button she also could possibly have anxiety about going on tour because you know i've never seen her pack out an arena and this is no shade you know i'm just saying you know she had a hard time with you know selling out wireless fest and you know she has discounted her tickets for shows um and concerts before or giving away you know a lot of free seats um and i'm not saying I think she's the only artist to ever do this but i'm just saying that may also be giving her anxiety okay she spoke about having to release more music you know again i feel like she's just feeling the pressure and hearing the feedback from the people okay she spoke about being comfortable at home and being with her children again i said that you know that's just part of the job that's what comes along with it do you want to build this empire for your children or not you know it's you have to make certain sacrifices and i'm not saying never spend time with your children but you do have to spend some time away from them it's just part of the gig you have to make certain sacrifices you know she also has her husband you know who's at home who isn't really touring right now you know they could figure something out it's just a part of the game y'all and then y'all she started singing which i was just like okay so then guys she goes on and speaks about surgery again she the 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 way that she is articulating this particular video is definitely telling me that either her or someone on her team is really listening to the feedback and really paying attention to what people are saying because after she did her performance at that you know nightclub where she said she got a million dollars oh and she doubled down on that in this video she said she got that million dollars for that show and she don't know what y'all talking about again she's listening to the people but anyway she goes on to talk about her surgery and she mentions how you know after she had her son her butt got really really big you know she claimed she was giving us the tea and she went on to say that she removed 95% of her butt shots which is like okay but 
didn't you say you got a BBL though? Um, that that was a little bit confusing to me. She's kind of like just deflecting from you know trying to say like she got so much more work done, and I think she's doing this because again she's listening to what the people are saying and after she did that show a lot of people were you know her body was trending on social media so and not for you know not very positively so i think she's kind of trying to like backtrack and say like oh i actually reduced my surgery rather than add it to it and then she also goes on to say you know for the younger women um if you know you're having body issues basically i'm paraphrasing and if you're feeling like you want to have surgery don't do it don't do it you know and that is just very interesting to me because you know just the other day on the breakfast club she was practically bragging about going to the dr and getting more work done let's take a look I finally got my body right, you know what I'm saying? I just did a little trip to DR, bro. No, shit. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I did went to DR. I really, really did. You still <laughs> going to DR to get surgery? No. They do the best. They do the best job. <laughs> they do the best job. So you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Moving on, guys. Normani says her album is almost done, okay? The producer that she has been working with came out and said, he and Normani are being very smart with the music approach. Farrah came out around March and I've been working with her for eight months. So it's like we're in the fourth quarter. 56 seconds left to go. We've got the balls in our hands. We just have to go and win the game. So when it comes to Normani, guys, a lot of people, a lot of her fans and a lot of people have been saying, where is the music? You know, she's been making these promises and the music has not been, you know, released um, in a timely manner, you know, where people feel it's a timely manner. The album has not come out. She still has not had her debut album, which to me is like, wow, she has this big of a buzz without her debut album. That's great. That's amazing. She's still able to stay relevant without having her debut album out yet. And oh my God, first of all, Fair is my song. Fair is one of the, oh my God, I could play that song on repeat y'all. But anyway, when Twan was on the show the other day, if you guys heard our live, he was basically saying that he feels like Normani is just really putting a lot of work into this album and she doesn't want to just put any old thing out she's taking creative control over her music instead of just releasing things that her label wants her to because she did not like the motivation song when it came out although it was received well from you know by the people and i actually have to kind of take a step back and kind of agree with that um especially seeing the fact that her album is almost done hopefully y'all freaking hopefully maybe this whole time she just has been working really hard behind the scenes to give you guys something great because she has been maybe taking a look back and seeing the reactions that other people have been getting when they're just rushing to put work out and she doesn't want to do that she wants to really work on her craft and give you guys something amazing something to hold on to something with longevity um and i feel like you know people are saying where are her covers and things like that maybe she's just been in the stew maybe she's just been in the stew maybe she's just been brewing it up for y'all and it's about to drop i'm excited i cannot wait for her album i cannot wait for doja cat's new album i cannot wait for Nicki minaj's new album y'all we have a lot of exciting things to look forward to coming into 2023 i cannot wait you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about these topics what you're excited for what you're looking forward to in the year 2023 don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit that like button and again happy birthday onika and i'll see you guys in the next video i'll holla